Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Levine. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag Tea Tuesday. It is hosted by my friend Patty at Life with Patty and Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things. Go over and check and see what they both post today and what everybody else that joins in this wonderful collaboration posts today. I'm drinking out of my new thrift store cup. I may have showed this to you before. And it had my coffee with my collagen and my protein in it. Um, I've just about finished it. Actually, I started this video almost two hours ago. <laughs> and my sister was driving back from Oklahoma to Texas. And I got to ride along. So we had a long visit. You just call and talk just for a minute. and you're... Also, I wanted to mention... She drove to the town where they had that tornado, where they had the Dollar Tree distribution center, and she saw it. And she says, oh my goodness, look. And anyway, she started telling me about it, and I looked it up. And so that was on the news. I don't know whether anyone was hurt. I know that was a horrible devastation there. So pray, pray for anyone that might have been uh, affected by that, which I'm sure a lot of people are. I had a few things in mind today. First off, I want to show you. I went to in the Salvation Army store and I walked through the whole store and I thought, oh, I'm not going to buy a thing. And I found one thing and I want to show you. Shall I have my tea out of this? Isn't this the cutest thing? It's nine pieces, two little cups, two little plates. Well, that's a little saucer, I guess you'd say. And two little plates. This was nine pieces for $2.75. It's 25% off that day. And I looked this, this up and this is, um, I think this might have been part of a set. It even had the cute little spoons. Two spoons and the tray. The tray looks a little bent up. What I had in mind today to talk about is, you know, I've been a part of Tops for a long time, many years now. And I've been able to maintain my weight. didn't have as much to lose as some people do. And I thank the Lord for that. I never did sign up for COPS, but I'm, I've am i reached my goal. I just didn't sign up yet. Have our meetings, someone would do a program. Encouraging. We try to have our meetings where we walk away with encouragement that somebody's going to do better than they did the week before. And encourage a person in whatever they need. Uh, remember, TOPS is Take Off Pounds Sensibly, and it is a support group. At one of our meetings, we had a guest there, and her name was something like Browren Schweitzgert. I'm sure I butchered that name. But she spoke one day, and she's written books and about um, nutrition that day. And she was talking about beans being the new protein, what the kind of take the place of, of meat. Save this. In fact, I had put it together from her information notes that I wrote and that I took from her. So this is not mine. So I give her the credit for it. And she talked about how we all need fiber in our diet. And of course, we all know that, but I just thought it'd be a good little reminder. And I hope you enjoy this short list of foods that she had listed was um, avocados, dried fruits, all of it, nuts and nut butters, all seeds, beans, lentils, and peas, whole grains like brown rice, whole grain bread, and popcorn, artichoke hearts, and all the other vegetables. Even though fruits and vegetables are touted as being very high in fiber, it's not it's really not quite as high as that. This is not me doing the research, so take everything with a grain of salt, okay? Virtually no way that we could get 25 grams of fiber a day from fruits and veggies just by itself. You can decide that yourself, okay? So you need all of the above. Remember, we need our fruits and veggies also. But here's her take on it. She said, I would have legumes listed 
in the fruits and veggie uh, category. They all have nutrients, sometimes even more than fresh produce, except vitamin C. We do need that. So, Browren says, I count my nuts, hummus, beans, and so forth, forth as part of her five a day. As far as calories, five in food means that those calories are there going right through you into the toilet. Okay. It also means that you'll burn more calories during um, your meal's digestion. So let's say we have a a serving of beans at 100 calories, and then we subtract 4 calories for every gram of fiber. In this case, it'd be 5. That's 20 less calories than would he count otherwise. Also, for every gram of fiber in those beans, it would cause you to burn an extra 7 extra calories during the digestion of it. That's 35 calories we get to subtract from the hundred. So the total amount of calories we'd retain, that's the key word, is only 45 calories. So don't count calories. So that's just a little thought, a little thought for you that know that um, depends what you eat sometimes. Low glycemic index have a slower rate of absorption in your body and are the ones protecting us from diabetes and heart disease. Foods higher up spike glucose levels when they're consumed regularly. But before you go search this all out, you could go and learn about glycemic index. Go look this up on Google or somewhere else. Ask Alexis. Or... So brown rice is lower than white rice. Whole grain bread lower than white flour, and so forth. Remember that fiber acts as a time release for glucose. If you're counting calories, you can stop. You can count your fiber if you want. 25 to 40 grams of fiber a day is what they recommend. It causes weight loss, prevents and reverses diabetes, and lowers cholesterol, and it cleanses your system out. A lack of fiber, again, from food, not some supplements, will eventually give you insulin resistance. Our bodies need 25 to 40 grams of dietary fiber a day, and most of us get less than 12. I haven't counted mine lately, and I'm sure I might be in that, that some days. Fiber is necessary to slow the rate of glucose absorption. What is important is not the amount of sugar or the starch in your food, but the amount of fiber, since that will determine the rate of sugar that is digested. Thus, a lower fiber food like white rice will have a much faster rate than brown rice. This will cause blood sugar to spike and fall quickly versus the high fiber food that will stay foods where glucose just climbs slowly and stays within healthy perimeters for a longer period of time. Eating lower fiber food day in and day out will attack the body's insulin since it's overworked constantly. Over time, this will lead to uh, insulin resistance. It just can't do its job. But wait, change the diet to a high fiber one, and what happens? Insulin is relieved. It's not required to work hard. The fiber literally acts as a time release for your blood sugar. And there's never too much glucose for the insulin to deal with at once. Oh, and you lost weight? Well, that's not a bad thing for most of us. I hear my diabetic students tell me they have to stay away from fruits and dried fruit. I freak. 
This is her saying it. That's some of the most ridiculous nutritious, nutrition advice in history. Yes, yes, fruit and dried fruits have a lot of sugar. But what else do they have? They have fiber. So much fiber that we don't have, need to worry one bit about our blood sugar. Because it's naturally regulated. So please don't shy away from dried fruits like mangoes, pineapple, cherries, cranberries, raisins. Now, not the sugar-loaded ones, not the ones they added sugar to, by the way. They, are, they can be your best friend. Weight loss, the foods. You're wondering how many salad, spinach, leaves you'll have to eat to lose weight. That's where most people go when they think of a high fiber diet. Think greens no more. I mean, unless you want to. But what I want you to know is how easy it is to eat food high in fiber. Let's break it down in four food groups. Legumes, grains, fruit, and veggies. There's garbanzo beans, kidney beans, red, and then there's pinto beans, there's black beans, there's white beans, there's navy beans, and there's jelly beans. Nope, nope, can't have jelly beans. It's not a legume. Legumes also include lentils and peas. And think about split pea soup. Nuts of every kind. There's seeds of every variety. There's uh, nut butters, seed butters. I always start with legumes. For several reasons, legumes are really yummy. You can make them so many wonderful, delicious ways. Even kids like beans because they don't have a lot of flavor. It really depends on what flavor you put in it many times. It's easy to add garbanzo beans to your salad. Make hummus. You can add walnuts to your salad, all kinds of nuts to your salad or nuts in your pancakes. High in protein and omega-3 fatty acids. But the best reason to eat lots of legumes is also that they make you feel full because they are both high in fiber and protein. But nearly impossible to overeat. And as such, they make a good substitute for meat if you choose to. If you haven't yet noticed, meat is not a high fiber food. In fact, it's no fiber food, which means all calories will be retained. There are some serious detrimental effects of eating meat regularly, which I'll contend to, to later. You can look up her um, information if you'd like. Just now, know that you can replace meat with just legumes if you choose to. The fewer calories your body will digest and absorb, the higher your metabolism will be, and thus you'll lose weight better. The girls always reminded me of this if we talked about this. Don't forget, if you increase your fiber intake, be sure to drink plenty of water. They go hand in hand. You will feel full and you will, and your colon will thank you for it. The people you share your bathroom will thank you for it because your lag time will be seriously shortened. But because we are pooping too little and they go out the back door only to be flushed away. We consider a large apple let's say 100 calories, we might assume that we're eating 100 calories. But when we factor in that an apple has 5 grams of fiber and that fiber is a carbohydrate containing 4 calories per gram and that those calories aren't digested or absorbed in the humans, then we can subtract 20 calories from that original 100 calories. 
So now we're consuming 80 calories. But wait, let's recall that every one gram of fiber from food causes our body to burn seven calories. Now, our metabolism is negating 35 more calories. The apple containing five grams of fiber. Now we can subtract 35 from 80. Us a net retention of only 45 calories from our 100 calorie apple. Food for thought. Just imagine, if we were to eat food in, in high fiber more often, we could finally be full while losing weight. Not to mention, we'd have a great bowel movement. Thank you, Miss Browen. I'm not going to pronounce that last name. I will write her name in. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little different. But uh, if you have any need for this, or you know somebody that might would enjoy this, please pass it on to them. Try to get more fiber in your diet. I'm going to try myself. Actually, I just finished having a big salad, and I had nuts in it, and I had um, all kinds of things in it. Nuts in it, and uh, several things that would be considered high fiber. So, But I didn't put any beans in it. I should have opened a can of beans. Tomorrow, come back for budget meals under $5. I have something in mind I think is going to work really well for tomorrow. Don't forget to look and see what everyone else has posted today. And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Budget meals under $5. I pray God blesses you today.